Welcome to my apartment. And I finally can show you my brand new couch. I haven't had a couch for over three years. When I bought the other one, I didn't know that there's a difference between leather, fleather. It said there was leather, but only like 15% or something. So it started peeling off and I hated it. So I threw it away. Three years, I had a big space. You had my green screen here. I had a lot of space in my apartment, but I never really had like a place where I can actually chill, lay out, and uh, look at videos or stuff like this. And recently, my friend Thomas came to visit. That actually made my decision uh, faster to get a couch because he needed a place to stay. So he was actually sleeping right here on the GIV's couch. And lately, I'm thinking, what kind of videos can I do? And I haven't really done artwork for a long time. So today I'm thinking, maybe I do a video about me making my artwork and as you know I was on a trip to the Joshua Tree with my friend Thomas and I love to take pictures of street signs especially the interstate signs interstate 15 10 4 5 or whatever so I took a really good picture had it printed out on vinyl and now I'm gonna actually cut it out glue it on wood and I'm gonna have like a nice interstate sign right here in my apartment. And you're probably wondering what is this or next to me and this is the print I wanted to show you. Right here, check it out. It's pretty big. So let me show you. See? This is the freeway entrance sign with the 15 Interstate California. And this is printed on vinyl, so I'm going to buy some wood at Trader, not Trader Joe's, at Home Depot and glue it on there and then I'm going to put the sign right here in my apartment. Crazy idea, huh? but why not? So let's go to Home Depot and buy some wood and we start doing my vlog. And since I had some extra space on the left and the right, I decided to print the Hollywood sign here. This is pretty big too, let me just roll it out here. So there's the Hollywood on this sign, and I took a picture of the Hollywood street sign from Hollywood Boulevard. So that also is gonna be mounted on wood. I love the 15. My favorite hardwood store, the Home Depot. Let's go. What? Check out this piece of wood, it's pretty big. It used to be $9.99, now it's $29.18. I can't believe it, that was before the pandemic. What? This is pretty big, huh? He's gonna cut it for me, so I don't have to cut it. Thank you. Just to let you know, you only get 10 cuts a customer. I only had one, so I have nine left. I guess I was lucky today because sometimes that machine doesn't work for days, so I got my wood, let's go. I need a piece of wood to mount the sign on. $4.80. Whoa, way too high, I gotta cut it myself. Sometimes it's a nightmare to find somebody to open up the gates to get your spray paint out, but I got it luckily early and they have to lock it because a lot of people try to take it and uh, not pay for it. What's up, Benji? <laughs> Excuse me, where can I find spray glue? Hello? Hello? There is a spray glue, Super 77. Used to be $9.99, now $13.28. That's what we need. And look at this, they only got self-checkout now. Recording in progress. Line open, scanning. Please scan your items. Please when scan finished, your items. Select... Got the laser gun here. There we go, $29.89. We got this one. The spray can. Customer needs assistance. Customer needs assistance in self-checkout. You hear what he said? 
I need assistance because I'm not 21 for the spray can. Where are you? Just to let you know, artwork is not cheap. 6112. Just for a little bit of wood and spray. You gotta have a big car to put all that stuff in. Look, there's my bike, there's my scooter, there's water when you go to the desert. Hopefully all this is gonna fit in my car. You can't put that in the Corvette or Ferrari. Right? Couldn't be an inch bigger. See, I spent over 30 minutes in the store. I normally have to add that to the cost of your artwork, but I normally don't do that. I think my artwork is really, really reasonable because I feel bad if you charge so much. There's people that charge thousands of dollars. I just can't do it. I have to learn that. Well, my friends, here I am in my store and I haven't done any brand new artwork. Normally back then, every day I was doing new artwork, new pictures everything new but i've been neglecting my place for over three years because i'm doing youtube videos and it comes to a point where i'm thinking is it really worth it holding this space here because i'm not making any money i'm just losing money every month but i'm too afraid to give it up right now because you don't really never know how youtube is gonna go so like i said i don't know I made another Michael Jackson star for the uh, anniversary coming up next month for the 14 year death anniversary. I'm going to bring this to the cemetery so people can take pictures with it. And other than that, there's a subscribe sign I made and let's get started. Sometimes I come to the beach, I got some fans waiting for me already. Look at this right here. I can't believe it. Where are you guys from, man? Denver. Denver, you're here for the game. Hey, Nuggets at five. We're Nuggets at five. We won in the championship. They're winning the championship, but they're watching my YouTube channel, and I really appreciate you guys coming by, man. You make me happy, man. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like button, okay? All right, good luck to you guys. Thank you. All right. How crazy is that? All those people, they saw my videos, and they came here, and they said hi. Every weekend I have people come to my store and then uh, they want to take pictures with me or they want me to sign something. Some people support the GIV. It's pretty cool. This is where the sign is going to be mounted on and I want to spray it brown. Always shake it, shake it, shake it first. side is dry I spray the other side so the first thing I got to do is cut all those individuals out this is gonna be a good one too the Hollywood sign so all I need is cut this out this this and this that's what I'm doing today it doesn't really have to be exactly Make sure you don't cut anything off here. That's one of the Hollywood signs from the Hollywood Boulevard. Sometimes when I go to an art show, people they say, oh yeah, I'm an artist, I've been doing this, I've been doing this, and I use this, and I use this. You just gotta do it, then you're an artist. Look at this, I made this. Out of real jeans, we got a brush here, we got a spray can, this is the zipper from the jeans, and that's a photo I took of the Hollywood sign. Yeah, you put all this together, and you can call yourself an artist, but you can do the same thing. You can cut out the jeans, put the uh, brush in there, take a picture of the Hollywood sign, glue it together, paint it. Everybody's able to do this. So you're an artist, I'm an artist, everybody's an artist. There's some art, it's much harder to do, and that's when you maybe become an artist because you gotta have some knowledge. This is all done in Photoshop. Everybody knows how to use Photoshop. 
remove the background, put Marilyn there, put some wings together, put tattoos on her, and ready is the picture. This is like a little bit artistic, I think. I like it when people can draw your face and it really looks like you. That's art to me. This is also just Photoshop. There's graphic designer, they do way better jobs than me, but they're not here selling it. Sometimes I just try to put something together in Photoshop that shows how I see Los Angeles. You always see those shoes hanging over the poles. That's not a real picture. I put it all together in Photoshop. You got the LAPD, the ghetto bird is always flying over downtown. I put some palm trees in there. I put even the bird, the seagull in there. Nothing is real in this picture, but this is how I see Los Angeles. And I think that picture is pretty cool. When my mom was here the last time, <laughs> I had this picture outside. And look, there's bird poop on there. It's kind of dirty, but I like it like that. Not everybody likes it. My mom says, no, paint it nice and make everything nice. No, I like it like this. It gives it character, but everybody thinks different. See the cone on the right? That's a photo I took one day. That's where the cone is. Really nice colors with a great sunset. I took that picture right over there. And then I have pictures like this. This is a drone shot I took. This one is also the graffiti wall across the street. This is the store entrance from my store. And this is another graffiti wall on the beach. And they look like this. This is another picture I took. Hollywood Boulevard, Sunset Boulevard. We got the Santa Monica Pier and Venice Beach. They come like this. That's when I was taking pictures a lot. I just really like street signs. Hollywood Boulevard, Sunset Boulevard, Dayton and Rodeo Drive, Oceanfront Walk and Venice Boulevard. That one is gonna look good on wood too for my apartment. Hollywood! Remember when I made that subscribe sign and I forgot the S right here? Now it's legendary. I love that sign now. I don't even want to change it ever. Subscribe. And I still can't believe I missed the S in subscribe. Must be because I'm German. Let's try to cut right on the line here. You probably think why would he put an interstate sign in his apartment? I already love it the way it is right here. And then the big one here. Freeway entrance. So now that we cut out all those signs, I got to trace them on the wood with a marker and then I'm going to cut it out. That's going to be the hard part. It's going to take a little bit. But you know what my dad used to say? He said, nothing comes from nothing. So if you don't do nothing, nothing is gonna happen. Normally I've done this with a Sharpie, but if you go over the line, it's gonna be on the side. So this time I'm using a ball pen. I think that's what the name is, ball pen. Trace the whole sign. It's really easy on the wood. Everybody can do that. You can do that too. And that's how it looks. All right, now that everything is traced, I gotta get the saw out and cut it out. You might need a little talent to hold that thing straight and not cut like, like this. We'll see how I do. Number one is ready, three more to go. Make sure your hair is not gonna get stuck in the saw. Number two is done, now two more.
And now we're gonna smoothen it out with the file. Is that what you call it in America, file? Uh-oh, I went a little bit wrong here, but that's all right. It's art, right? You go like this and smoothen all the edges out. So you're not gonna hurt yourself. I mean, this is, I just, my muscles, I need to use my muscles here. This is fantastic, I like to work like that. The corner. I'm glad I had an electronic electrician apprenticeship. He used to learn how to do stuff like this. I'm glad I did it. Otherwise, I would have been here in the 80s already and I would be a movie star by now. I missed it because I had to stay in school. And what does that teach us? You don't have to go to school to be successful. Just do what you like to do and you automatically become successful. But uh, my mom and my dad, they thought different. I wanted to leave to America when I was 18, but they said, no, 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 you gotta have your education first. And now what I have, I have my education and I'm still not a movie star. This one is the round one. It's a little bit harder to do. I'm gonna make it nice too. But then on the other hand, it doesn't have to be exactly nice because you're not gonna see when it's hanging on the wall. But for some reason, I'm German and I always wanna make it 100%. German engineering, huh? And look at this, another fan. You got the GIV sticker on your skateboard. Nice, I appreciate that. Yeah. Where are you from? I used to live in Kansas City, Missouri and I've been out here almost a year. I live in Topanga. How do you like Venice Beach? I love it. It's nice, second, huh? Second home. All right. Yeah, GIV all the way. So we gotta do it half-half to make it exactly straight. Otherwise it's gonna be a little Headache. Spray glue. And I'm not breathing while I'm doing this. I'm holding my breath. All right, now I roll it down like this. So the first side is glued on, now I'm going to change it around and glue the other side and it should fit perfectly. There you have it. And there it is. How cool is it, huh? Now I gotta do the other ones. Now the other side. The wind is blowing this way, so I'm not really breathing it in. But I still hold my breath up from now on. Look at this. I also sell this painting I painted a while ago and it's on wood it's 48 by 48 I'm not gonna ship it if you want it you got to pick it up in my store if you buy it and you live in LA I might deliver it to your house but I want like uh, $200 maybe $50 if I deliver it think about it I cut out all the pieces and basically I just have to mount them on this pole. Basically the big one goes all the way on top here. There we go. I think the 15 goes right underneath. Then the north and this. 
looks pretty good to me. Just gotta screw it on. Everything is screwed on. All I have to do now is put like a clear lacquer spray on top so it won't fade and it looks kind of shiny. Check it out. You got a freeway entrance sign right here at the GIV's place. How cool is that? I made this sign for my apartment, but it's going to stay here for the weekend. Maybe somebody would be interested in buying it. I can always make a new one. If you are interested to buy it, come down to Venice Beach on the weekend. I have no idea what I can charge. I mean, you saw how much it is to buy the wood, 60, 100, maybe 100 bucks. The time, maybe $300. Sounds a little bit much, but you can't get this anywhere else. It's a sign, Interstate 15 North. I think it's absolutely dope. Makes me happy just to look at it. And just sitting on my couch and then looking at the sign, it feels like I'm somewhere in the desert. And just to let you know, the whole time I was working on this sign, not even one customer came in my store. So now you know how bad Venice Beach business is. First you have the idea, then you take the picture, you put it on paper, you print it out. And I wish all the problems could be solved easy like this. But this morning I did not have the sign, now I have it. The freeway sign in the middle of Venice Beach. I'm not even gonna ask. Uh-oh, it's not real. It's fake. I just like to put that sign everywhere and take pictures of it. It looks good everywhere. 15 North on Venice Beach, California, right there where they filmed Baywatch. Won't get any better. Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from Venice Beach, California. The sun is about to set. Another beautiful day comes to an end. I feel like I had something accomplished. This made me really happy seeing it in my apartment. But like I said, if you have interest in buying this, come down to the beach. I sign it for you and uh, maybe I deliver it to you too if you live in Los Angeles. But anyway, if you happen to like this video and my artwork, just give it a thumbs up. Push the notification bell and subscribe to the GIV in Venice. Look how beautiful this is, how lucky we are to live here in Venice. And you heard it, that's it. See you guys later. Tschüssing. <laughs>